Hi, this is Jennifer Gonzalez. You are watching this because you want to learn how to set up your Google Drive course. Either you purchase the whole Google Drive Basics course, or maybe you just purchased the Docs, Slides, or Forms course. So this will show you how to do it. Now what I'm going to be showing you is uh, instructions for a PC. If you're on a Mac, things will be very similar, but you will know where you store your files versus where they're stored on a PC, but it's pretty similar. So the first thing that you'll do is go into your Downloads folder and look for the zip folder that you just downloaded. Double click on that, and then you see all of the different documents that are in there. Right now there's a teacher's manual, there is the Intro to Drive course, the Docs course, the slides course and the forms course. And within each of these, like inside the docs course, you'll see that there is a videos folder that has all the videos and a list of the videos. Also the skills challenge and the quick notes. If you only purchase the docs course, then you'll have that folder and the intro to drive and the teacher's manual. If you purchased only slides, you will have the intro to drive, the slides course, and the teacher's manual. This one says Docs Basics Teacher's Manual, but it'll be some sort of teacher's manual. The point is that the intro to drive mini course comes with all of the different versions of it because it just teaches you about the Google Drive environment. So you'll have all of these folders in here, and the main thing that you need to do right away is upload all of these together into your Google Drive, because that's where you and your students will access them. So the first thing you need to do is extract all of the files from, your, from the zip folder. So click that. Now when I go back into my Downloads folder, Right here, there is a folder called Drive Basics, and this has all of the files in it. But I don't want you to go into that folder at all. What you're going to do is upload the whole folder into your Google Drive. So I'm in my Google Drive right now, and you may have lots of other folders in here. So what you do is you just click on New, Folder Upload, and I'm going to go into my Downloads folder to choose the folder that I want to upload. I'll go into there. And there is my Drive Basics folder. I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to unclick it. I'm just going to select it without opening it and click OK. Now, if you purchase the full Google Drive Basics, which is three full video courses, it's a pretty large file. It's a pretty large folder because it has lots of video folders. So it's going to take a while to get it uploaded. But once it's there, then it's in place and all you and your students have to do is just jump into those folders to access it. So give it some time. Okay, so once you have uploaded the whole thing, and again, if you've uploaded Drive Basics, it's going to take a while. I just sat here, I edited it out, but it, it took about 10 minutes to upload the whole thing. But that's okay, it's going to be worth it. So you click it to open, and in here is everything that you need. Again, this says Google Docs Basics. If you uploaded the whole Google Drive Basics, it's going to be your teacher's manual that says Google uh, Drive Basics. But you will have a teacher's manual. Okay, Inside, there's going to be the Intro to Drive course, and then whatever other courses you got. So if it's the Docs course, you open that up, and you will have a video folder, a skills challenge, and the quick notes. So in, inside the video folder, there is all the videos, plus uh, a list of the video lessons in a PDF. Now see how some of these, there's no picture yet? It's because they're still processing. When you first upload it, it's going to take the videos a little while to process, but once they're processed, what you'll be able to do is go right into them, double click, now let's learn how to do the and Google you'll be able to play them directly so in it. Google Drive. No downloading, no separate folder or anything. You're going to play it right in there. And When you're done, just click out and you're back into your folder. And it's going to be the same for each one of these. So that's how you get things set up. And to give students access, what I would do is I would just click each one of these folders, whichever ones I have. I'd leave the teacher's manual out. Don't give that to them. I mean, you can. There's not anything secret in there, but it might just confuse them. But if you're going to be giving them the Docs course, just click on it, right-click on it, click Share. And then you can either manually enter the names of everybody that you want to give access to, which could be tedious, or you can just get a shareable link. And this here, you give them this link, whether it's through an email or something like that, or putting it on your classroom website, give them this link, and then they will all be able to get right into this folder. And once they've gotten into it, if they right click on it, they're going to have something on here that says add to my drive. Then they can actually have it placed in their drive and they'll be able to get into it at any time. So that is how you set up your course.